Last week, we celebrated the opening day of the legislative session. By the time we signed die on May the 5th, approximately 18,000 Americans will be dead from drug overdoses. That's a 9-11 every 10 days, and 10 days after that, and 10 days after that. So what do we do about it? Well, back in 1972, over 50 years ago, Florida decided after facing an increase in illicit heroin use to criminalize the unlawful distribution of that controlled substance by making it punishable as a capital offense when the user dies. Through the years, we've added cocaine, methamphetamine, fentanyl, and fentanyl derivatives. As late as last year, Florida legislature, with the support of the governor and attorney general, took action to hold drug dealers more accountable to address the opioid epidemic. This bill before you today accomplishes two things. First, under current law, nothing happens other than a possible drug sale or distribution charge to the person that provided an illegal substance if someone suffers serious bodily injury or overdoses and lives. So this bill creates a very narrow law that says if a person supplied an illegal substance and defines it as only fentanyl, fentanyl derivatives, and heroin, if they supply that and the person suffers serious bodily injury or overdoses and lives, the first time they do it, they're subject to a second degree felony. The second time they do it, they're subject to a first degree felony. It makes sense because if you shoot someone and they live, you're charged with attempted murder. Second, the bill will address the prosecutorial challenges by revising the causation standard from proximate cause of death to substantial factor. And we're defining the substantial factor to mean the use of the substance or mixture alone is sufficient to cause death regardless of whether any other substance or mixture used is also sufficient to cause death. Very frequently, when we find people that have sadly overdosed and they've passed away, many times they have multiple substances in their body. Fiscally, the bill may have a positive indeterminate impact and I also want to point out that the Attorney General and the Florida Prosecuting Attorneys Association support this legislation, and that is the bill, Mr. Chairman.